Hey everybody, it's us again. Uh, this is us again, the hanging on hat. We hanging on wow. real strong. Real strong. Anyway, so we've been getting, like I said, the last video, we've been getting a lot of questions. People want to know a lot of things. Um, is there anything you want to talk to people about? Is there anything I want to talk to people about? Yeah, somebody posted on Facebook that if we want to listen to other music, to listen to music or or need other things to stimulate us uh, during sex, during or during our, our us time during sex, something's wrong. And I disagree with her 173 billion percent. Your numbers crazy. Ooh, doc. They had a problem with us listening to secular music. Yeah, when we mentioned, wow. you know, I don't want to hear Israel or Larry Trotter. We naming different names that we don't want to hear during our us time. What I mean by that is, if I'm if I'm dating my wife, if she decide, uh, if I decide to, for her to come home to the lights low, candles lit, you know, some McDonald's with a with a with a with a bow on it. That's if I got to cook. That's what Whatever, it's all in love. But I'm saying, it, for her to, it's all in love. For her to come home to a nice dinner or something, and I decide I want to do that, I'm not putting on no worship songs or no gospel songs. It's just the real. I'm not listening to Fred Hammond, Bread of Heaven. Because if it's because true, it's Bread of if Heaven. It, if it's true that music stirs up different emotions in you, which are very true, why would I play a worship song? Flat out, why I'm getting ready to make love to my husband. But then they saying don't play no music. Right, her husband's voice. That don't like, make no I sense. I could care less. First of all, we're musical people. Music does something for us, just period. So if I want to listen to music while I'm in the bedroom with my husband, what problem do you have with it? If it doesn't work for you, don't play it. Let your husband talk in your ear. But I'll be scared to be a fly fine. on your wall. My thing is this. I'd be scared. My thing is this. We have a lot of Christian marriages suffering. We have a lot of unsatisfied women in the bedroom. I have people that have talked to me that have said that they have they've been married for years and don't know what it feels like to be sexually satisfied. What is going on? Just try this for me. Wait a minute now. Just try this. What? Try this. Hold on. Wait a minute. Whisper. Wait. Hold on. Get that R. Oh. Kelly record. Oh. E it is a song on there called Echo. And once I want to get you pregnant, who play them records in your bedroom? If you if you married, dim them lights. Um, now I'm married. Get folks. it cracked. We're not talking to y'all yet. We gonna talk to y'all. We not talking. To I'm talking about talking about. to my married brothers and sisters. Just try it. You ain't never tried it before. You dim the lights, put on some baby face. Right. That's some good stuff. And that song of Solomon. That song of Solomon. If you ever read it, ain't nothing but it's some it's some crazy reading now. God gave us to each other to enjoy each other. Don't let man put you in bondage when it comes to who God gave you. Okay? Enjoy each other. Those are the very same people that will probably tell you one thing and be miserable in their own home. Enjoy each other. Enjoy yourself. Discover each other. Rediscover each other. Yeah. Fall in love with each other all over again. The devil don't like it. If you do the same thing every day, every day, every it gets day, boring. You eat every the same day, thing every, every day. day. It could be every your favorite day, meal. Every day. Want it. That's so boring. Boo. <laughs> I'm saying, it's boring. <laughs> You know, like, come on, let's do something else. Get it cracking in the car on the way home. Trust me, it works. Pull in the garage. Tell the truth, shame the devil. <laughs> <laughs> it gets cracking right now here. Why have people not never want to ride with us here's no more? The, here's the thing. We got we got Lysol and white. <laughs> <laughs> we got white. We got white. <laughs>
Just smile, you smile, you smile, you smile for me. It's better than anything I ever heard. The rude boys. <laughs> you better believe it. Come on, son. My only son upstairs. He here because of the rude boys and Jesus. <laughs> rude boy and Jesus. You better believe it. You better Enjoy get it cracked. Enjoy each other. Get it cracked. Love each other. We are not about to take this whole divorce thing laying down. I don't know what's happening to us, but we fighting it, y'all. Love each other. All now, right? again, fellas, love the ladies. Treat them right. Women, respect the man. Okay? We're going to have a lot more stuff coming for y'all. We having a ball. I'm having a ball. You know what? Let's turn this off. Let me, let me bless you real quick. Come on, come on let's take your bless you. Come on. I got some funny shit. Lead into this video. Okay. Go now. So, we're about to show you um, some, more, <laughs> some more of our time with Erica and Warren. And um, we discuss sex. We discuss things like one night stands and all that. But we just want you to know this is our personal friend time. We're letting you in on it. But at the end of the you day. You can slow down a little bit now. You ain't got to go that thing. I'm married to Steven Spielberg, right? You just know this camera thing. Like, you got it down. At the end of the day, at least Warren and Erica are happily married. <laughs> We're here with the camels. Hey. First of all, he's drinking sparkling uh, uh sparkling cider, cider. For, for, for all y'all deep for y'all y'all deep Christians. I have to deep mama came over here from New York. Dilly dee dilly dilly dee. Dilly dee. I made some macaroni and cheese. Dilly dee's mama.
and y'all can talk about it. Yeah, Hello? I might talk about it. Now, we couldn't talk always it. talk about it. I would have an attitude all night long and not talk. He's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you so quiet? Nothing. Because I could talk about it, but I didn't know it affected her, it affected her like that. But I think that's what relationships Because I was just saying it would be a good relationship. Yes. But when I, I, I would t- at first I didn't tell him, and then I started telling him. I just, I don't really care anything to know about any of that. I don't want to know any of it, so don't tell me any of it. 